I come back. I think it's time we confront the situation in front of us. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, if you are a new resident to Andile's world, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are a regular to Andile's world, a resident to Andile's world, sweetie, welcome back. You know the vibes. You just know the vibes. Let's get straight to the video. Um, my breakfast is just cornflakes and banana. Nothing deep. So let's get straight to the video. All right, so this is a story time, as you have seen through the title. This was a highly requested um a video. I'm gonna put the screenshot here. I was supposed to do a get ready with me while telling the story, but hey guys, I'm still not okay, but I'm much better. So I will do my next story time will be a get ready with me. You know, so. Well, the title of um the story time is how my female roommate had a serious crush on me. Wait, guys. I swear this was like not the worst but the most scariest thing ever. Imagine your roommate thinking by no man, you know, Kelly, okay, not friends, but Chony, whatever, you know. How can't you be a girl? Okay. So, what had happened was so this happened in 2019, my first year. So, <clears throat> I'm in UK ZN and I find a place to stay. So, I have two friends, Eng Suganabo from my high school. So, they got accepted earlier than me. So, I'm like, guys, if you find a place to stay, please include me. Sharp. I find a place and then I get to share with one of the girls, man. And then the other one, she's gonna move in a bit later. So fast forward, I get accepted, I move in. So baby girl and I, you know, I'm comfortable because I've been with her in high school, I know her, you know, so I'm like, I'm glad that I'm in the same room with her. Sharp. So first semester, you know, go be grand, go be right, go be right, go be right. So towards end of um first semester Gwen's politics, Gwen's politics, you know, gonna be very much happy, gonna be roomy, gonna be, you know, sharp. Go be the June holidays. So I go to Joba. Hi, sweetie. Boss, sweetie. Boss, sweetie. Hmm. Hmm. I come back. So I come back. I was the first one to leave because I finished my exams first. I was the last one to come back because, sweetie, I just love being home. Anyway, I come back. I come back! And, okay, so I was at my sister's house. I come back, I come in, sharp. People are sitting in the living room. Hey, hey, le sharp, okay, sharp. Hi, man. Yes, I pass by my room. Mm -mm. So now it's a room that has two single beds. So her bed was the side. So the, this is the door. Like the door's like here and then as soon as you walk in her bed is here so when the doors open you see her bed there's a new girl oh girly camera on two babes oh babes oh girly camera she's sitting on the bed the side and her things are moved in her things are level she's a baby girl you know Chill, the relaxed, or oh, home, or oh, Felicia home, you know. Okay, I'm like, what is happening? So I'm like, no, I don't want to be rude, and just come in and be like, how oh, sissy, who are you? What are you doing here? No, 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 no. I'm just like play it cool, sweetie, you know. So I'm yeah, but we are watching Oyegil. I'm just like, okay. I roll my suitcase in, my things in, and I'm just like, hi. She's like, hey, yeah, and I'm like, no, I'm good. Okay, I put my bags in. I go to the living room. I'm like, Buffett, didn't time. What is he begging? Who is in my room? Where is a baby girl that I stayed with last semester? But you know, she has moved 
to the other room. Oh, okay. So now, I don't know if you guys get my frustration. My frustration is that I'm supposed to be told that Usman Mani has moved out. There's a new person moving into your room. Because number one, I left a lot of my things there because that's where I'm staying. I'm not going to take everything and go to Joburg because I'm just going for the holidays. So I'm supposed to be told, Guti, there's someone new in your room. In general, let's just leave that. I'm supposed to be told because that's practically my room because I pay for it. It's practically my property. You know, I must know who comes in, comes out, you know. So I was like, what is happening? I was so angry. I was so angry, Guti. The landlord is supposed to inform me. Would he do it? You have a new roommate. As much as I'm in Joburg and there's nothing I can do about it, but at least let me know. Let me know, you know? Just let me know. Like, I am shook. But what can I do? She's in the room. She's been in the room. Clearly, she's at home. Felicia at home. So I'm like, okay. I have my sister. I was that oh baby girl the one that you shit the room with. I'm just like mm, nah, I don't know. I don't know where she is. Apparently she moved there. I'm like, you know what? You know my sister leaves. Sharp. So now I'm sitting in, I get in my room and my study table, my stationery is just like all over the place. And I'm just so annoyed because I'm just like now I don't know who to blame. Cause now clearly so many people have been galavanting in the room i am so sensitive and I, I i surely believe that everyone would be sensitive with their things how okay on your babes we're gonna call her ooh, gonna call her okay so i come in the room and obviously now i'm doing a young intro because now i need to know who you are where you're from you know all those vibes so i'm hi <laughs> but i call me but we talk we talk we talk and we do a young intro about and then she opens up to me and i ask you to know She's doing her first year in this course at UKZN and the reason she's only moving to a commune now is because she was pregnant, she just gave birth, one, two, three, have all those like jazz. Funny she was so comfortable with me on the first day, let us call her. Okay, so now I'm settled because she seems like a genuine girl, she's okay, not my friend, no, but she's, she seems genuine, it's a person that I, I, I thought I could stay with, I thought I could stay with, but anyway sharp imagine guys can you <laughs> can you imagine that oh my gosh guys i'm thinking about this now and i'm just like oh my god wow. because obviously i'm not gonna because my clothes are there i've been jobbing in front of this girl i've been wearing clothes in front of this girl thinking the comfortable Thinking about okay, irum yam, I am comfortable. No, no, guys. Oh, so, mind you, this all happened in a week. So I, I got to the commune on Sunday, sharp. Young intro, whatever, whatever. I sleep because I have class the next day. Next day, I wake up, I go to school, go to school, go to school, and then go when the strike is going in. So with the strike happening, oh, you kids are in strikes, the pits. There's a strike that happens and then I'm just like so they send us home. So I come back Monday Vale and I come back, she's not there, fine, I get in the room and then I sleep. So as soon as she comes in, hi man. She comes in and she closes the door and she locks. I'm like, okay, maybe she's used to doing this in her room at home, but this is our room, so you just don't come in and lock unless it's at night. At night I will like we lock because you don't want because you're living with other people you don't know what other people think i so we lock just for safety precautions and that about so we went along to about okay what is happening but i'm eyes so she was a person who didn't have didn't want to make friends in the commune or she didn't have time or i don't know what her story was but i'm such a social being so i just wake up maybe go to the kitchen make food then go downstairs and chill with my other housemates talk 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 maybe come back in the room if I have to do work or sleep or watch something or whatever sharp i man so that's monday monday i sleep tuesday so now we know we're not going to school because there's a strike so now it's we'll get lunch normal time and then i have a pain it was on my leg on my on my ankle on my ankle so i couldn't walk properly 
I man. So baby girl is so concerned, you know. And with me, I thought she was being genuine because like she just wanted to maybe create a good image for herself, like what as a roommate, you know, what is her yeah, well she's nice and all that stuff, you know. So she was just massaging my leggy. Nje, she was just being yeah, well, okay. Another day, Nje, I had started watching the river and and this was cut and I was so intrigued. I was like, you know what? I was obsessed. So I put my laptop on my bed and I'm watching. She's like, oh, what are you watching? Like, Mother River. She's like, oh, can I watch with you? Sharp. I don't have a problem. She comes early. She sits with me on my bed. And we're watching. We're watching. We're watching. So, Nje, I bought now. She was just like, yelling me, massaging my foot. Nje, and we're just chilling. Hi. Here we go, dude. That's she's touching my hair. Yo, you have nice hair. Yo, you have nice eyes. Well, I'm just thinking, okay, she's just being a girl, you know? You know? Okay, I can tell her, thank you, thank you, thank you. And funny thing is that every time she'd come in the room during the day, she would lock, you know? So now it seems suspicious because it's like, okay, this is my okay, man, what is happening? Nothing is happening, you know? And I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> Long story short, that was Tuesday, sharp. So now it's Wednesday, and then, okay, Wednesday, we're just chilling the whole day, yeah, well, you know, she's chilling in the room, you know, I'm just chilling with my other housemates, sharp. And then, Shruti, I was, was I also not well on that day or something? I was just having a lazy day, so I just, just slept the whole afternoon, yeah, well. So I woke up, got my six, and then we have a housemate called Uspen. So... Was face like, yo, dude, we should watch a movie today. What a what a what I am like, oh, okay, no, no problem. Bele, I hang up tongue because I've been sleeping, so we can definitely watch a movie. Yeah, well, sharp. So that was the plan. The plan was that he was gonna chill on her bed, and then we we're gonna chill on my bed and put the laptop like at the far end of the bed so we can both see and then just watch a movie, you know, sharp. I, I. What, what happens now? And I swear this was God. I swear with my heart that this was God. <laughs> this was God. You know, Modim Wabereka. Over time, like he works. So now as we're chilling, I get a message from um my housemate downstairs, who's like a sister to me. That's how dude. They just want us to chill, so we come downstairs, let's just chill. It was just a chill as you know. And I'm like Oh, okay. I'll come and chill with you guys for just a bit because I'm watching a movie, you know. Can you spare me? I was just, you see, the setup is just setting up, you know. I go downstairs, really, and then it was just a nice vibe. I'm like, hey, you know, I don't think I'm going to go there. <laughs> and then we just chilling, we 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 chilling, So now, obviously, I had to take her number because we're like roommates, and maybe let's say I go to school and I forget my book. Or I forget whatever. I'm text what you do because I forgot it and then we meet somewhere at school, you know. So yes, I decided to take her number, you know. Just for those purposes. Baby girl now is texting me. This is where it gets deep. This is where it starts getting hectic. Babes. Yeah, I Text me now. I was up with you. I'm like, dude, no. I'm like, I'm back. I'm still chilling downstairs. And then she's like, how, dude, we've been waiting for you. Yeah, well, I'm like, how, guys, aren't you guys watching the movie? Huh? That's we are, but we've been waiting for you. Who's pale? Says they ulele, man. So I'm like, hey, dude, I'll come. Yeah, well, and even if I don't come, we can watch the movie any other time. It's, it's going to be there. It's not like in day A once off, you know. Hi, baby, guys, like, dude, I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay, talk. We te we text them on WhatsApp. I'm like, okay, do talk. <laughs> I tell you, hey. <laughs> I was never ready. I was never ready. I was never ready for this. Baby girl's like, no, dude. Um, I really like you and enjoy. I just want us to try this thing. And I've just liked you for so long, Jay. Like, I am into you and I yo like I get love I forgot what she said exactly but she was stressing how much she liked me how much she wanted to be with me and how she's just happy being around me and 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 so I'm just like whoa sweetie what are you saying what are you saying to me
a feeling. Imagine it is one o'clock in the morning. It is one o'clock in the morning. So now I'm shook. I'm like, nah, dude. What are you saying? I'm just I'm like, nah, dude. What are you saying? What do you mean? I mean, uh -uh. I'm not into those things. I don't know what you're talking about. And like, uh -uh. can you just stop? She's like, no, even if you're not into it, girls or whatever, I can teach you whatever you need to know. And but I'm like, to rest, 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 rest. Sweetie, I bo, sissy. I was like, I bo, no. I'm like, no, no. I'm like, uh uh, can you stop? No, you can you stop? Like, no. I mean, she's like, no, come here. But now she's getting all angry and like. You know, she's like, hi, we are pair like, so now I'm just like, I'm not coming back in that room because she is sleeping on my bed. And my chat is, after finding out this, what is she going to do to me? Hey, baba. Hey, baba, hey, baba, hey, baba. I'm like, ah, I'm dizzy. Ah, I'm dizzy. <laughs> so now I show a baby girl that was my roommate, my ex room. So in him comes a message. Yo, she's like, shook. She's like, what the hell? But I'm like, do you understand that I share a room with this person and I've been comfortable in my room with this person and this person has an other agenda, you know? She's like, okay, dude, what are you going to do? I'm like, one thing for sure, I'm not going to sleep in that room tonight. One thing for sure, I ain't trying to do that, you know? So, shooty, now this is what? This is, that was like Thursday morning in the a.m. So now what happens is that they call us back to come back to school. So it's about my two in the morning now and shooty, ex roommate's room is a three sharing they have three single beds and that third friend of ours is a Sugane high school had i think she had gone home that week or any i wasn't close to what happened so i decided to go sleep in her room on her bed because it was her and the ex roommate and another girl in that room so i'm like hey, i'm gonna sleep in this room so i sleep in that room then it is six o'clock in the morning my alarm I think it was like about my 05.55 because I set an alarm for 6 because I had a class early. Hi. Hey, guys. I think I go. Hey. Go all 5.55. Hey. 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 She is saying to me, how? Why are you rumin? How? Meling, meling, can't you la? Hi. So now I'm like, I wake up, I'm like, no, dude, I came back late. Like, ugh, I don't know what to say, guys, I'm so sure. I'm like, ah, ah, but no, I, I wanted to sleep here. And I know him, so I don't want to wake you guys up. She's like, oh, okay, Uspe is gone, so you can come back. I'm like, ah, okay, you know? Guys, doesn't appear in tone, doesn't appear like a feeling. So now, okay, I can't sleep anymore. And I said, so, so I wake up and I'm like, What to do now? Okay, I'm like, Okay, get my things and then I go to the room and I get my toiletry bag and I just walk out. Don't say anything, don't even look at her. Go back, go back, go back. And then I, man, I come back in the room and she's up now, she's chatting on me. She's sitting. I, I'm like, I can't sasa here. I can't dress up here. So I just take my things and I go to the room I'm sleeping in and I tassa there. I tassa, I dress up. I go come back to the room. She wants to talk to me. I'm just like, Ish, do you know? Not now. Take my clothes, take my able, take my bags, and I just go to school. So now I'm going to school and I'm frustrated. I'm not even coping well at school on that day because I'm just like, I have problems at home. At my place, I have problems. You know? So, I go to school and I come back. And now I'm playing this my Kasarana game. Like, I'm trying to like avoid her. If I get home and she's not there, I'm happy because at least she's going to find me sleeping. And I know her routine when she comes back, she sleeps. So, I come back that Thursday afternoon and she's sleeping. And she's not there. I'm so happy. I get in the room and I sleep. Sharp. So, when I wake up, She's there and she's sleeping. I wake up now. I go downstairs and I chill that. So no one else knows except who ex roommate. You know? ah, yeah. So now that Thursday, now we're chilling there, we're chilling there. Now we're all chilling. And I tell them, like, guys, this is the things. 
I tell them, I tell them. They are all shook. They were like, what? What are you going to do? Oh my God, I don't know what to do, but now I can't live like this. I am so scared. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know, but... And my chat was that this this has to be a face. This has to be a face because it's like you just gave birth a month ago. You're still seeing Opro, and now you said you want me. Make it make sense. What is going on? Why? What are you make make me understand? But what is happening? Hi man, what are you gonna do? I'm just like it's just that I don't know. Don't stress me. I'm just here to vent. So now it's at night now. And then I'm sitting now in the sitting room and I'm watching TV, watching TV, thinking what's okay. And I get in the room and she's passed out. I can hear her laughing. She is laughing and laughing in the room. I'm like, okay, this girl is still chilling. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna like deprive myself of sleep because I have class tomorrow. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get I'm, I'm gonna get in the room. I asked I think I asked my best friend to call me. Or oh, I don't know why I asked to call me and like just talk to me while I'm in the room, just like I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking while I'm in my bed putting the blankets taking the pillows i'm talking i'm on the phone hi they call me baby i get in the room first i do that i do that baby because then you go away in the bar and i'm like yeah but i'm still talking i'm still talking until i feel about okay i'm sleepy then i it's okay don't any other i'm it's okay good night chat drop the phone out i'm literally not even trying to talk to her or whatever because i am annoyed i am not okay i am living it's lockdown it's lockdown so i'm going to say that Opil is locked down <laughs> in my own property. That's it. So now it's Friday morning, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm so happy. It's the weekend. What am I gonna do? Plan, 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 plan. Luckily, I had a class at eight. I had two classes from eight to nine, nine to ten. So my day was done at ten. So I woke up in the morning, and um, she wasn't there. Good. She had an earlier class than me. So I dress up. I dress up. I dress up, and then I go to school. With me going to school, as I came in Yabuya at 10 o'clock, I'm like, you know what? I can't be here for the weekend. So I just take my bags and I pack. I pack my clothes, pack my clothes, pack my clothes. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to my granny's house. One thing about me, <laughs> I'm going to go to my granny's house. When I am not okay, I am going to my granny's house. Pack my clothes. And I'm like, dude, we have, I'm like, I just need a space. I need a space. I need a space. Okay, shut up. And then I go. So I leave. So I, I, I take an, an Uber from my place to the taxi rank. So as we pass, Gandhi, she's walking up, going home. I'm like, God, you are the father, the father, the almighty, the one that works in many ways and beautiful ways. I go. Get to the taxi rank. I'm in the taxi. Go, 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 go. Until I get to my granny's house. Get there, mama, 12. Get there. As soon as I drop my bags, literally, I drop my bags. I'm like... I can't even eat. I need to tell my granny about this. So can my granny and my cousin with me? I tell them. But I like, hey, 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 My granny was not okay. She was like, what are you telling me? You must tell your parents. I'm just like, no, definitely. I need to tell my parents because I can't stay like that. I can't live there. I can't. Your pen semester, mind you, that was the first week of the second semester. The first week, you have tried when will the semester end? Yeah, the previous lockdown. I call my mom sometimes, tell her my mom was livid. My mom was livid. My mom's like, I'm gonna talk to your dad about this. Ah, talk to my dad. So, go back Sunday morning, guys. No, go back Saturday. Yeah, go back Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, Saturday, my mom's like, you know what. Tomorrow, meaning Sunday, um, you're gonna meet with your sister, and then you guys are gonna go look for. No, what did you say? It was Saturday. Yeah, because I came on Friday. So Saturday, she's like, I spoke to your dad, and your dad is like, you are leaving that place. You are going out. You are moving out, Mtanami. We're not gonna take this this nonsense. As yes, Stalouiva, Stalouiva, hey, Stalouiva. Like what happens is that my mom's like tomorrow it's like right now as i speak to you saturday number 10 you're gonna look for a new place to stay a new commune you're gonna look you're gonna look after looking you're gonna tell us and then tomorrow your sister is gonna come and fetch you you want to go view these places and you're gonna settle for one and you want to pay and you want to go stay there that was that talk to my friends 
Yeah, but my friends are kind of space in my commune talk to their landlord. Sharp. See be happy, see be merry. The next day, meet up with my sister Valen. We go view new places to stay. So now, that's Sunday, but my one. Okay, Sharp. Forgot to tell you guys, baby girl, on Friday, she comes back and she sees Ba. And he call, I'm on, not coming back. So I always, oh, 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 seven, eight up two, I'm not coming back. She texts me on WhatsApp. How? Wahamba, where are you? Why didn't you tell me that you're leaving? How? You don't say, why? I'm like, so in my head, I'm like, why do I have to say bye to you? Who are you? Who do you think you are? I don't owe you any bye. If I want to go, I can go. I don't report to you. Who do you think you are? Eh? Eh? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? How? So annoyed. And then, <laughs> I don't answer. Saturday morning, she's like, oh, okay, since I'll be here, I'm in Zuhamba, and then I'll come back when you come back. I'm like, do what you want me to do, sweetie. I don't care. I don't care. You know? So now it's Sunday. I give them a four o'clock. So I come back to my place where I stayed. And luckily she's not there. I'm like, yes, come there. People are shook in the house. I don't know what's going on. So a lot of people didn't know what was happening, you know. Only the people downstairs knew, you know. So the people upstairs were so shook. Like, hey, Hugs, oh, welcome back, sweetie. I'm like, huh? come in my room, pack everything. Like this, I pack everything. Everything, clothes. Bedding, everything. People are shook. What's happening? What's happening? Not I am out. I'm like, I'll tell you guys some other day, but enjoy. I'm out. Took my things well and I moved out. That Sunday, I moved out. So, with me moving out, sharp, I settled my new place and I'm happy because I have a friend, a family of mine stays there. So, now concluding, she so I come back, I, I'm settling in, and then she calls me. She's like, how? Oh. And she calls me and I blocked her everywhere. I did like block, block, but I blocked her everywhere. I blocked, 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 blocked. Then she's gonna use a no color ID. So my dad has an, another number that's a no color ID. So usually my no color ID, I know this is my dad. So I answer, I mean, I call me at how cafe in uni and shy more and you have a character and all that stuff. I'm like, <laughs> drop the phone. I bl I'm, I'm like, okay, now this person is harassing me. This person has sending messages other numbers. It's how, dude, I'm sorry. How, I didn't think what you were gonna take it like this. See, how you should have told me. Ah, yeah, but she's like, how, dude, how, yeah, see, I'm Hi, man. So, I'm not looking for some sister's sake, ba. I'm looking for some sister's sake. Yes, you would have my gosh. It's only I'm so sorry. My entagazela, guys. Yo, capi, so entagazela. So, people from the commune have her number and they screenshot and they're sending it to me and i'm just like what the hell this girl you know and there's this one day my ex roommate got in the room and then she's like mm -mm. this person was sitting say imiti you know imiti 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 traditional imiti you know so i'm just like i was so paranoid i'm just like first and foremost this girl likes me and you can see what she's adamant she wants me Number two seven is me. What if you're busy with some money? I'm busy with other things. Or I'm in the le. I I I I need to. Oh, pega mina. Oh, hey, guys, I'm not okay. You know. So now I tell my dad. So now she have she she gets her friends now, her crew to now call me, and try apologize to me. Yeah. And I get so angry. And I tell my dad. My dad like let's not be angry. So take send my her number. I'm talking about number two. My dad. If I ever hear that you're trying to contact her or you're sending people to talk to her, mm -hmm. and you know when they say, mm -hmm. Adela went. And that day she just stopped. I think she got the message. But anyway, what also annoyed me was the fact that now the landlord is angry. Do you know um why is Angela leaving like that that means she has to continue paying rent for here and where she's staying right mom's like la, 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 so no she's not gonna do that first and foremost you didn't tell her that her ex-roommate left the room and that she has a new roommate nah? she's like no she oh Angela was not supposed to like 
bring the issues to you yeah she's supposed to tell me as a landlord and then i'm supposed to bring them together and talk about it she was not supposed to just take drastic decisions like this mom's like lalela sis when your ex-roommate moved out did you call a meeting to understand as to why she's moving out no did you inform her that she's a new roommate no so why now does she have to be part of a meeting with this girl all of a sudden now you know about meetings all of a sudden now you know how to solve conflict you know you are a conflict person you are a conflict resolver now all of a sudden and then what's the, why how can this thing be resolved because even if i move to another room i still share the same space with this person and this person i'm not comfortable with being the, with this person because you know so it's like there was no use of moving in any other room or trying to what am i sorting out what am i sorting out in essence what am i sorting out because this is the situation you know and with a person moving out because of our personal issues and this issue of me being in a room with someone that has a serious crush on me those are two different things you can't compare them you can't call a meeting for that you just can't she must put herself in my shoe you know uh, i'm give her lunch, I'm give her lunch. ah guess what i don't want to pay for that place i just moved out like that i didn't care about the contract i'm like whatever we'll go to court for this yo this girl like she was just showing me to meet signs after that you know in the you see some after finding out you know it's like if she hadn't told me oh, it's okay dude i like whatever the small things that should do i'll just be like ah okay this thing of living with people can get scary sometimes especially for me now i'm very skeptical with living with certain people now because hence now i want to live in a single room because now i don't know people i don't know what they think i don't know what they do but i'm gonna be like it was just so traumatizing for me it really was traumatizing it really really was traumatizing yeah guys it's not some yet so that's my movie that is just in school I hope you guys love the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want more story times please do continue engaging with my content and just commenting liking subscribing sharing and yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for the support thank you so much for always watching my videos for always sharing them i completely completely appreciate it and i love you guys so much and to the next video bye